From the Journal of Snurford of Brush, we escaped Eloise Nightingale's ambush against unlikely odds, and with several pieces of experimental tech and pages of classified notes, I will be most excited to examine them when we get a chance to rest, though I should probably deliver at least some of this information to the watchful eye. Lady Nightingale's base was full of complex contraptions and secret passages. We stumbled upon some kind of operating theater with an observation room above on our way out. None of us were comfortable, but Renald most of all. Eloise's notes mentioned experiments. I shudder to think what kind of experiments call for restraints on the beds. But thanks to some quick thinking from Renald, we got out without taking or doing further harm and left Lady Nightingale behind with a note warning her not to pursue us. I can't believe the chaos I have gotten myself into lately, but I suppose chaos is the name of the game. everyone, and welcome back to the Jester's Court. My name is Casey Reardon, I am your Dungeon Master, and joining me today, as always, we have Rachel Cordell. Artemis Alwyn Croft. I have nothing good to say. Hmm. You have everything good to say. I, well, the best nothing, things to say. The people uh, log on just to hear your voice. All right, well, I just smudged some pen on my desk, and I don't think that's coming oh. off. <laughs> I, thought, I thought they were going for something podcast. like, uh, Is that what you want to actually say? <laughs> Owen Croft, I just smudged some pen on my desk. I don't know. Yeah, I'll do it again. <laughs> our desk, um, Artemis actually. Owen Croft, I have smudged something on all of our desks, and I don't think that's coming off. I was going to say, this is, this <laughs> is a mahogany you, table. I, I, I thought what, they, what she was going for was something like, I have nothing nice to say to anyone, so I'm just going to not talk. <laughs> no, I just don't have anything good to say. Already in a bad mood. Oh, my God. That would be great if you just roasted Artemis all of our characters like in the just from the intro. Oh, we should do that one week. Oh, that'd be good. Just Ooh. roasting that'd each be, other. That'd be funny. I don't know. Do it carry each other's characters. Already. Well, we have the roast master himself, Sky Swanson. Oh, I don't have a <laughs> Wait, are we doing roast now? Because I didn't get to roast. I, I no, don't think we'll, next, next we'll, we'll do it next week. We'll do it next oh, okay. week. A casual meatloaf with a side of creamy mashed potatoes and roasted carrots, served by Renaud Duquesne. See, like I said, the See, roast master exactly. just roasted those carrots. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, that's fine. I that's was fair. right. <laughs> you, right. Were right. I you were right. Oh, I, I should change it to barbecue. Process. That's my fault. I should change it to barbecue. Damn. Mm, that's it's okay. Good still. Yeah. We have Seth Covey. And I play Barnabas Fletch, the teenage wizard heartthrob. You know, I just realized about sets is he prefaces it with and like it's the final one, but we still have two <laughs> more to go. <laughs> uh, I think I do that because I used to, Casey used to say my name and then I would say my name again and then and. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, history now I just lesson see, uh, yeah. for you people. Oh, <laughs> history. Yeah. Don't believe yeah. us. Yeah, and now I just episodes. say and I play Barnabas Fletch, <laughs> which is, I mean, no, it still works. I just take it out. It still works. It's Casey yeah. says Seth. I right, am the final play. person, right? Yeah, you're continuing <laughs> the train of thought. We have Andrew <laughs> Frost. Hey, how we doing? I play the reverse Jehovah's Witness, Leo. There's more people. What? Like, what? Because what does he that slammed mean? the door on somebody. Remember? Remember? Uh, Callback. Yeah. Oh, because you closed the door. Well, tried to close the door. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Attempted. Oh. <laughs> he tried okay. to. And of course, we have Jonas Tintinzer. Sniffer devours brush the friendly freight train. Sniffer devours brush the friendly freight train fugitive Freddy cat. How did he do that on your first try, Joe? Well, that was no. <laughs> that know, a lot of fr sounds. Wow. It's really oh difficult in that God. accent. You, you could you could cut this next part if you're gonna fix the judges, but just like in my head, I was going ah, and the palate cleanser, and then we <laughs> up, it just was like. Ah, no, ah. <laughs> 
Well, you know, I, I said that with the expectation that they were going to take it out. So. And a nice pickled ginger. <laughs> <laughs> you win some, you lose some. We weren't sure if the train was going to wobble off the rails or not. Yeah, that's just me imitating the startup of a train. It's like choo 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 Trains are like lawnmowers. <laughs> trains are like lawnmowers. <laughs> it was a dude you know in what? the front with a ripcord, like just trying to get that yeah. train to start. I've never seen evidence of the contrary. I don't know enough about trains starting up. Yeah, shit. You might, you might have something there, there, Jonas. There's movies where they start trains. That's yeah, <laughs> but it's movie real. magic. Wait, oh, okay, I think, okay, I think, no, you're right. I think trains and movies trains also or... do it, don't do it right because a lot of the times they don't show them doing the rollback. Wait, guys, is this the point where Rachel says bye? I can't remember. <laughs> no, my God. No, 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 no,
at odds with one another when our roads lead to the same destination. I think Hess kind of like gazes at the ground like wondering, wondering, and then he looks up eyes slightly wider and he just goes, Chaos. They just slightly nod. I thought you would be taller. <laughs> wow. you, little, you little short guy. <laughs> a manlet. <laughs> they, they continue to walk around the fire. Or is at this point, have they both stopped? And are, I think I think they've stopped at this point. Okay, yeah. yeah. You see, Hesk, I stand to bring change. Change so incredible that it stands to shatter the world in its current state. Is that not what you desire as well? He sort of gazes at the fire, at the representation of his own deity, and just quietly, you know, utters, a, you know, a, a semi-saying of his people of just, change at any cost. Change at any cost indeed. So, Hesk, I've come here to see if you would help me bring about this change. Your connection to the god themselves, well, is something that is truly interesting and not something that is seen on the material plane all too often. What do you say? Shall we explore this connection together? Bring about an earth-shattering change, the likes of which hasn't been seen since the Cataclysm. I think it has would get down on one knee in front of the fire. He would reach a hand into it, knowing that it wouldn't hurt him. Mm -hmm. And without regarding chaos, he just simply looks to the fire and he goes, Change. I require your guidance. Is this... And he looks up at chaos. Being my path forward. So you reach your hand into the fire, and at first it just doesn't feel like there's any temperature change, right? The fire's not hot, it's not cold, but as you ask that question, your hand grows cold. Uh, I think Hesk would stand back up and... Chaos reaches a hand over the fire to you, looking to shake. Mm. And Hesk kind of looks down at the hand and looks back up at Chaos, and we fade to black. Oh, oh, you're gonna blue balls wait, like that? Wait, what do I? But what do I do? <laughs> you're gonna have to tell me later. Oh my god! The audience oh, doesn't heard me. Know yet. Oh baby, oh baby, change it any cost. Suspicious, suspicious uh, indeed. Nah, the chaotic move would have been to headbutt them. Just, just. Like <laughs> I like your moxie, kid. <laughs> flip the coin. Anyway, we're back in this alley with uh, Ronald and the rest of the gang. Oh, hello, everybody. Oh. It's I, Ronald. I got very quiet for a moment there. Yeah, we we, we know you're Ronald. You're right there. We we all did. We just sat here. I know. It's very strange. Why did I you just needed just a moment yourself? to disassociate. <laughs> I've been there. That's, that's most of my day. Okay, we should um we should we should go back to the marketplace. Uh, I have a few things I want to pick up, and then we should make a hasty exit. I completely agree. agree. Is that such a good idea? We are being chased right now. No, we're uh, not. And he like looks around and there's no one chasing him. <laughs> he goes, I mean, surely someone will come after us, right? Swift movement is key. <laughs> I have yeah. a shopping list. As long as we don't take a long time haggling, I think we can just do it on the way out of town. Let's go. What if they try to rip us out? Oh, you no, know, I get it. I get it. Don't uh, worry. I'm, I'm not that uh, dense. Come on. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I, I guess so. Uh, so we move. Yeah. 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 Talori is a pretty big city overall. Uh, it doesn't take you too long to, to weave your way through some of these alleyways and get out of at least immediate sight of this facility that Eloise has been running. Um, it is a big city. Uh, there is a lot to shop here for. Although the city doesn't allow any weaponry, there is still tech allowed in the city. So there are other tech-based items that you can purchase that are not weapons. So... You make your way to the market area of the city. Um, what exactly are you looking to purchase? Number one, shoes, sized for a halfling. Great, mm. find a ah. cobbler. I buy the nicest shoes that he has. Oh, All right. oh. the nicest oh. shoes. That'll be yeah, one Yeezys? Goal. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those. Don't promote him. 
Okay. I give these Anand to- is just the one that survived the cataclysm. I, I turn to oh, Renald God. and I go, I, <laughs> we've got like a long journey ahead of us and it, I don't even have feet and it makes me uncomfortable looking at your bare foot. So please take these and I get yeah, these nice manicure. little shoes. They've got like, they've got like the curled tips and little kind of scale <laughs> pattern. Nice, nice burnished reddish orange kind of color. Uh, oh, Renal would hold up his hands the first thing. He says, "Oh, uh, I mean, uh, th- th- thank you very much, but uh, what, what, what do you want for them?" I want you to continue traveling with us for the time being and leave at your leisure. He looks. He gives you like this super skeptical look, and then just like snatches the shoes out of your hand and like, <laughs> throws them on. Like, oh my god! Okay. Oh, these are the most comfortable things I have ever put on my toes. Ah, oh, <laughs> I need to go have a sit. Mm. Uh, no, no time for sitting. Onward. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> yeah, right. We're being chased. <laughs> Should we hide these batons? Uh, I assumed we weren't just parading that kind of stuff out. We've got pockets and bags. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Um, I I have a I mean, list. Yeah, swinging randomly. <laughs> I have a list of magic <laughs> items, uh, Casey, that I would like to purchase uh, that I think would be useful for the whole party. And uh I don't really know the best way to do this because magic item prices are so wishy-washy in fifth edition. Yes. Um, but I will, I, I, what I'd like to do is just give you my list and you tell me how much of it I can get. Okay. Uh, how these much are all, money do you have? <laughs> we have 5,000 gold. Okay. Uh, 5,014 gold. Mamma um, mia. And these are all uncommon items. Um, uh, and move, two two movable rods, preferably, but I yeah. understand even one might be expensive. A broom of flying, a rope of climbing, and a robe of useful items in in descending order of want. Okay, I'll say that you can get one immovable rod and everything else on the list. Oh, okay, awesome. I will I will take that deal. Um, is that up to is that just all five thousand? Do we have any left over for healing potions? That'll be all five if you want all of them. Uh, I will skip the robe then. Because I'd also like to buy some healing potions. Okay, if you skip the robe, then you will still have, let's say, three hundred more gold. A little push, a little push, you heal. A little slurp, slurp action, huh? Yeah, a little slurp that push, yeah. Is there a, is there like a magic bag of, don't touch me, I don't know you. Maybe a purse. <laughs> purse. I don't know you. If someone you don't know tries to take your bag, you get an immediate reaction to hit it's them. It's just a bag with the magic <laughs> mouth spell cast on it, so anytime somebody else touches it, it says that. I don't know. Also, you. a spectral foot comes in the you. Meds. Um Okay, potion of healing is 50 gold, so I could get six of those. Let me just double check and see if I want that over the robe real quick. What is Can the I robe again? Them? The robe just has a lot of like random gear. Yeah, oh, it's the robe of many things. Yeah, I'm useful gonna... items. Yeah, does it? It has healing potions on it. It's it... an option, but it's not always guaranteed. It's random. Ah. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna buy six healing potions and the other uh, three items. Cool. I know it's good for our longevity, but man, I wanted you to get that cloak. I mean, Snifford can be convinced. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> Renaud <laughs> sees you. Tw- Passion. You know what? The robe is more fun. Yeah, the robe is more fun. Renaud would uh, turn to you and go, Snowfred, you have bought me these shoes. Let me give you some advice. Okay. Sometimes it is better to do the fun thing than the practical <laughs> thing. Because <laughs> what is life without enjoyment? When you got money, <laughs> spend it. You know? And I'm, uh, I'm standing here with like the robe over one arm and just like desperately <laughs> claw gripping six yeah, potions exactly. with it's the it's other. Same, same <laughs> I mean, vendor selling mm. these two items specifically. <laughs> Freddy, you gotta look at it like this. I can't die. Uh, Ray, uh, Artemis can heal people. Barnabas can heal people. Renault can, I think, heal people. Ah, but your friends cannot make robes. <laughs> we still, exactly. None no, of us are still, tailors. We still have I a lot of those. A shopkeep now. What yeah. fine uh, silk <laughs> this robe is made from? Don't you want I don't, You know, don't but you stuff it, maybe, maybe we get our cloak from somewhere else. This one seems kind of like a, like a creep. <laughs> Well, we still have a lot of cookies as well, I think. He's sure stroking that cloak a lot. I like those shoes. Do they feel good on your toesies? I just wanted to do this cut of like Snurford sweating, Mm -hmm. robe, potions, shopkeeper leaning in. Like a sweat appearing on their brow. Shopkeeper leaning in more. He just does that three or four times. And then we smash cut to us walking out the front gate uh, with the robe over Snurford's back. (laughs) Yeah. Come again, adventure. 
adventurous. Woo-hoo. Why did he follow us to the gate to wave us off? It is he's so weird. He's a very weird. dedicated shop owner. He wants to make no, sure. No, he's a pervert. <laughs> I, get, like, I get really close to Renault's ear like, my service is my number one priority. You have to wait in a line to get back into the city. It'll take you hours just to do this. You are so weird. I want to retain customers. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's canon <laughs> Renault, as the shopkeep leaves you notice you're missing a shoe oh, what? No! 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 Oh, no! no 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 are no. you serious I oh, just want to do a bit <laughs> <shoe. laughs> oh, no. I don't want to know what he's going to do after but you still have your old good shoe <laughs> no, it, it's uh, the same foot it's both left feet <laughs> oh, damn <laughs> That's really depressing, actually. I'd, I'd I say I regret you, it. Seth. I blame you, Seth. <laughs> but I don't regret it. It's funny. It's so good. Oh, that's so funny. So once again, Ronaldo only has one shoe. Oh, my God. If we ever get art, remember, Ronaldo has one shoe. It's the only detail I really, really care nice about. Shoe. One really nice shoe. One really nice, nice shoe. shoe. Yeah. Oh, did we okay. even keep the garbage shoe to put on the other foot? No, I threw that thing away. I used it as a trash bag for the other shoe, actually. <laughs> oh, man. Um, all right. I give... Uh, these are all group items, so it doesn't... Like, I'm, I got these because I thought they'd be useful for everyone. I don't really... They don't really need to be to a specific person, but, like, would anyone like to hang on to anything in specific? What was these stuff again? Can we go through auctioneer style? We, we got a broom of flying. Broom of flying. Anybody for broom of flying? Something has not... changed within me. I mean, I'll take it. That could be useful for our wizard friend. That way then they could get her to the air. I was thinking spells, a caster, be yeah. Be safe. It would also be very funny to watch a horse ride a broom. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> mm, you know what? I'm sorry if that's a little offensive, but like, but... ah, that's, that's hilarious. I think, I think I'm literally too heavy for it, unfortunately. Ah, uh, that because... is a shame. Because uh, Renald's being a kind of a jerk, why don't Snowford offer uh, Renald one of their shoes? <laughs> to nail that thing into their foot. <laughs> Just want to balance you being, out, pal. I thought I was being nice. I said you should get the broom. Because it'll look funny. <laughs> I mean, we can give it to Barnabas, but also Artemis can, you know, do all the, the magic, do that stuff, and then jump off of it as an elephant. So that's kind of cool. Artemis turned into a gorilla and I, I think Artemis, it. yeah, Artemis does like does do melee stuff sometimes. I'm here there. It's okay. We could give it to Barnabas. I think that makes sense. I think give it to Barnabas. Yeah. So um, it's there. he is but the uh, child. Barnabas will hold on to the broom. Hold uh, on. I'd... I gotta. I gotta find who is this person. Oh my god, the guy who's Barnabas. Do you have your keep, learner's keep permit? Keep saying the name. I know people help. I know a lot of useless things. Okay, so is this Super Mario? Yes. Guy. Uh, you're saying Kamek. Who? Kamek? Kamek. K-A-M-E-K. It's the guy who raised Bowser. The wizard. Like little the turtle man, wizard, wizard hat, yeah. glasses. Yeah. Dude, wait, he raised Bowser? That's official lore? Yeah. That dude's Bowser's dad? That's Bowser's papa. No, no, not his <laughs> what? dad. His, his it dad. is his dad, Casey. All right, you're right. How dare you? So I... All right, Barnum's hold on the broom. Um, yeah. I'm going to give, I guess, Leo the robe, because I think that's <sighs> the most match of a personality. Well, um, he's already got the bag of... Uh, furniture. That's so. true. All right, I'll give it to Renald for now. Oh, and, oh uh, cool. Oh, man. <laughs> and uh, we have I did a not think I climbing. would get something, but cool. Renald touches the robe and there's a whisper, I hope you enjoy it. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Artemis, Artemis, you're our, you're our guide. Why don't you hang on to the rope? Surely. Sounds fun. Uh, and I'll, I'll hold on to the immovable rod because that's the one I wanted the most. I want the cool robe. Um, I all right. think you also used it, used it successfully in the past, too. <laughs> Yeah, I I pull, <laughs> I pull out my railway spike, which is still like dented and busted after the underwater adventure, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm like, yeah, I made a makeshift one once because I had heard of them and I thought that would be helpful and cool. And to be fair, it was both of those things, but we haven't sat down in a city for long enough for me to fix this, <laughs> and I I do need a new weapon, but that's okay. Mm. I have a dagger. Now I feel bad. Yeah, we can work on fixing that. No, no, no! Don't feel bad. It's, it's, it is. Um, you know, it is the circumstance. Oh, of yeah, fate. we want to role play. Oh no, I feel bad. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Flying in a circle of a stupid <laughs> Oh no, I feel bad. <laughs> Not bad enough, apparently. I guess we're heading out. Yeah. 
Yo. Yeah. As Barnabas flies off into the distance. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Bye, buddy. It's just Please like a point and like, ah, oh, I guess I guess we're leaving then. <laughs> you all make your way to the southern gate where uh, you encounter the guards there. You hand them your ticket uh, and they collect all of your items, your weaponry and everything like that. And it takes a little bit for them to, to get them because you entered in the other side of the city. Mm. But mm. you do nonetheless get all of your items back. We're just all like sweating in a line. And, and they're like, why are you guys are so nervous? What's going on? It's a hot day out. It's spring. It's sweltering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what time of year is it? I think it is actually summer. I think so. I believe it's summer, yes. Okay, it's a cool. sweltering 68 degrees outside. Let us know in the comments. So you successfully Profiling. leave the city, but where are you going next? You still are on the trail of this mechanical dragon that flew south from here. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. only city yes. that's directly south is Rokul, um, where Eloise is actually from. You do know that there is a blue dot on the map that you had received from Themis yeah. in Rokul. Uh, the only other thing that's further down south is the Ashland Wastes. Yeah, I roll open the map. We've got a blue dot in Rokul and a blue dot and a black dot in the Ashland Wastes. Hmm. Um, and I say, so I think, I don't really know. We don't have a good direction except south. So I, I suppose we could go to Rokul and ask around like we did in in Taloria. Although I'm a little worried that the same kind of thing will happen and we'll get in trouble again. We are technically fugitives from the law now. I think if we could figure out exactly what th this map is, that would help. Um, Ar Artemis. Yes. Do you have that spell prepared today b by which you can speak with animals? I don't think so, but uh, give me a day. Yeah. <laughs> so my thinking is uh, maybe you can talk to the toad and the toad can tell you about the map. Oh, yeah, the one that's been singing this whole time. Yeah. Has anyone fed that thing? No. <laughs> oh, no. I think he feeds on pain. <laughs> oh, then, oh, he's full, then. <laughs> hey, Atrix, how are you holding up with that thing in there? One I W T P I T. Oh no, Atrix is doing it too. Right. <laughs> oh no, it's a mimetic agent. Oh god. Oh no, no, that 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 wasn't me. That was the 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 toad. I'm I'm uh I got earplugs. <laughs> Do you have ears? Wow. Uh, huh. No, <laughs> I, 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 I don't. Oh, their bottom uh, is your place. They're just okay, in the bag. No with further you. explanation. Yeah, they're, they're just, just sitting there at the bottom of the bag. You dickheads would rather talk to my backpack items than and than actually interact with Barnabas. <laughs> no, I'm gonna talk to you to talk to you, Bonnie boy. The last time I tried talking to you, you went up on a broom and flew around over my head. I um, we tabletop Barnabas and keep talking to Atrix. <laughs> 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 don't don't you dare tabletop my boy. Barnabas, Barnabas, where's it hurt? <laughs> I'm, I'm still flying around. Hey, you know what? Fuck these people. <laughs> Table, tabletop. Yeah, let's go. No, we're shouting. <laughs> up and follows you. Uh, just a clarification, though, uh, Snowford, you are not wanted by the law. Yeah, I was gonna. No, say. No, I know, but like, I figured, I figured they're gonna get mad and try and. I mean, sure, they are not the law, though. Yeah, who is they? But they're the government. Uh, I don't know if they're government or if they're someone else. She she's a noble. She's not the government. Yeah, noble noble that. Oh, okay. I'm I I thought she was like working on some. Oh, official capacity. so any attempt to arrest us would be futile. Yeah. Yes. She's she's a Hilton, not a uh, not no, a Vanderbilt. No, you don't like that. No. <laughs> well, yeah, because then they'd have to investigate, and they'd find the secret base full of weapons. So I think we're okay. So if she was working for something governmental, you would assume that. You're, the note that you left, the note that says we know your secrets, that probably wouldn't work if she yes. was actually the government. Well, like, but she didn't she didn't want other I, I figured it was like a a clandestine <laughs> cell that like didn't want it exposed no matter what. But that makes ah. also that also makes sense. Her like having it. the weapons is di in direct opposition to what the queen right. is trying pretty good. to do. I thought it was like a left hand not knowing what the right hand's doing type thing, but that makes sense. Okay. Okay. Um, we keep going. We go southwest to Rokul. Okay. So it is a several uh, day journey to Rokul. At least one of those days we're going to, we do need to have a scene on. I, tomorrow morning. Yeah, I was going to say. I'll yeah, make a scene. Let me just get the, uh, the days. <laughs> well, well, the for you. scene with a frog, maybe. Well, sure. 
Yeah, I can do that. That's how you go to jail. Oh, okay. No, no, what? What? Yeah, no, I'll make a scene with the frog. Yeah, no worries. I'll do it right now. <laughs> Just throws into the woods. So it is most likely going to be about a, a week long journey to Roku. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. real cool. All right. <laughs> Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's try to crack that. Let's crack this, uh, code. I want to, I want to do something. Sure. One of the days, probably the next day I cast speak with animals and I hold the toad jar in my hands and hello. One I W T P A T. Would you happen to be able to stop singing? One I W A P A T. What do those... That one was mean. different. It was different. It wasn't supposed to be. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I cast an investigation. You cast investigation? Yeah, I cast investigation. Dun dun. <laughs> I cast I cast sneaky powers. I cast uh using my noodle. Um, can I help with noodle usage? Yeah, you can I help cast, me with my noodle. I cast guidance awesome. on noodle. Do you want me to roll as <laughs> well or do you want to just roll noodle. advantage? Uh yeah, I'll I'll roll uh I'll roll with advantage and and a d4 from Sky. Hey, thanks. Hey, thanks both of you. Anytime. For helping but... me with my investigation spell. Yes, those are snickerdoodles. In the All meantime, right. uh I don't think it seems to be wanting to stop. When I W T P I T. It just it keeps I guess it technically was already speaking common, so it's not really well, I mean, unless it's been trained to specifically say these things, not necessarily more words mm. or understand mm. what's being said. Or maybe it's not an animal. Guys, I'll be real with you. I don't even think that's a real frog. I was going to say, I don't know if it's a real frog. Oh, it's like one of those talking fish oh. that hang up in loose and buckles. <gasps> this is uh, a, this is a <laughs> crap taxidermy that's been enchanted. Can you, uh, okay, wait, what's the code again? <laughs> One I W T I P. I touched the frog. Is it clammy or the toad? Is it clammy? You open the jar. Oh, have we no. not done that yet? Okay, no. I don't do, that. don't do that. Okay, open the jar. Knock it off! I'm doing a thing. <laughs> yeah, what do you think? I got a sixteen on my investigation oh, spell. Oh, what's the chance it can't hear through the jar? Nah, no, we could hear it through the jar. Never mind. <laughs> going on? Maybe sound. his hearing is worse. It's a one-way mirror, but for yeah, it's one-way sound glass. <laughs> Amazing. So, sixteen investigation. Okay. So you're looking at the map. You are listening to this frog uh, babbling on one i w t p i t. And last time we did this investigation, you basically just easily deduced that the block dots are most certainly where these obelisks are. So you get the sense that the other black dots are also obelisks. We're still uncertain of what the blue and the green dots are, but with a 16 investigation, you have been to Windsail, where there is a green dot. You have been to to Loria, where there is a green dot. And you've been to Follow Home, which I don't believe has any dots. In terms of the connections between the dots that you're seeing on the map and the the places that you've been, you can't really think of any off the top of your head. The only thing that's running through your mind is what this frog keeps singing and singing and singing. Um, you get the sense that in order to fully decipher what this map is, you need to get the frog to say something else. Okay. Can that be... He, uh... This is half of a cipher. You need to get right. the frog to say the second half of the cipher somehow. Perhaps if we submerge it in water? Yes, what if we drown it? It's maybe a it'll, toad. Maybe it'll sing a, a full song. Yeah, toads are land, aren't they? Yeah, toads are meant to be on land. Frogs are the one who could go in the water. And even then, frogs still have to breathe. I, well, we don't have to keep it there a long time. I know about two things, toads and frogs. <laughs> <laughs> Good things to know He knows about. nothing of um, cooking. Um, have we tried opening the jar? And how to cook them. Going to ask about opening it, although why don't we? What happened? I fear. I roll our cane. I fear oh. of it running away. Um, is there any way that we can secure, be in a secured location before opening it? We all just get it to a circle, and then one uh, person opens nope. it. I'm Definitely sure I can. Buy, I can catch it. I mean, 
It, Why not? It's, I, it's a frog. Just, it tries to walk away one of us grabs it. even be it. something that's not even to worry about, but I am uncomfortable feeling that way. I rolled um, an arcana check to see if there is some sort of trap when opening the jar. Okay. Uh, what'd you roll? I rolled an 18. Hmm. You get the sense that it is trapped. Okay. I Ooh. say we don't open the jar. <laughs> Barnabas, looking into it, mm. there is very little excess space in this jar. That fro that toad is like jammed in there pretty good. <laughs> oh, but there no. is a small amount of what looks like maybe spores or something like that Ooh. inside the jar. You get the sense mm. that those spores will release once the jar is opened. Ah, yes. There is a dangerous fungus that would be among us if we opened the jar. So doing it underwater wouldn't be bad. Question. Being, uh, this is probably too meta. Again, I'm very new to preparing spells like per day. <laughs> and I've honestly been terrible. But I was going to ask, if because we're doing this kind of between traveling, if I could access some spells. Yeah. If that's It's okay. a new day. <laughs> oh yeah, we got a full rest, right? That's all we can sing without. Yes. Yeah, you would have had at least one full rest. <laughs> yeah, so, at least one. That's all I needed to. Oh my god, amazing. Um, yes, I will say that you can choose spells, but for each spell that you're picking and choosing for a specific thing, another day is going to have passed. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. We're not gonna rush. No pressure. Sure. Unless you want to tell me all of the ones that you want at once. Before anything else happens, my my thought about the like getting an enclosed space was thinking of uh, mold earth to like literally build a pit. <laughs> um, That's actually open this pit idea, up. I think. Um, and then the other one was based on what you just said: uh, detect poison and disease. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you can prepare both of those for for the next day, like I said, you got a week to get there, so yeah, this would only be day two. Okay. Mm. We cool with that? Yeah, I mean, uh, can you mold mold? Can you mold mold? mold Is that mold. earth enough? She's not a circle of spores, Druid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, not oh, quite. Mold spore would be a great spell for a circle of spores. Yeah, maybe they can make it a good game. Hey, yo! Hey! <laughs> oh, oh, man, that was so oh, okay. Controversial. Take that, Will Wheaton. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It was Will Wright, but I'll give you I'll give you the credit. I was close. Hey, <laughs> anyone named Will? <laughs> sure. Is there is there any other additional like prep we want to do for opening this jar? I'd like to be in the air. <laughs> I'm looking through my my cantrips and I can't. Who is going to open it? Um. Well, I'm very strong, so I can Ooh, keep I can't a good die. grip on it. Hmm. Uh, I but cast. Yeah, um, I cast resistance. Yeah, I, I I'll cast resistance on Snowfred. Smart. Okay. What does that give him resistance to? It's a D four and a save. Yeah, it's just a save. Oh, nice. Um, I ca or guidance doesn't work on saves, right? No. Mm, okay. I don't think no. so. No. That's why we have resistance. I mean, mm. I don't think Renald would offer himself up to open the jar, but stout halflings are resistant and have advantage against poisons. So that's yeah, I mean, that would that would be ideal, but I, I don't we don't really have a character reason to think about that, do we? Mm. You're so. a stout halfling. Yeah, I thought you were more of like a sour halfling. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were like a you know, actually an imperial IPA halfling. Oh, well, heard it sour. <laughs> I thought you were an India pale ale halfling. <laughs> <laughs> Sniffer does not mind opening it. Oh, I also I can also pre prepare protection from poison. Oh, yeah, there you go. That'd be great. I can't wait for this to be like acid damage. If that's okay to kind of switch out in this package. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Just tell me okay. all of the prep that you are doing to this open is, this jar. This is yeah. so the first day after we we talk to the frog and it doesn't work out. So that night we're we're planning our our next day's worth of spells. Yep. Yes. Absolutely. Um so yeah, poison protection from poison is good, resistance is good. Um and then also detect I, the poison so we can see what exactly it is. Or if it's a disease. Is that yeah. just both? I'll also prepare knock. Yeah, okay. sure. Could be could be locked jar. Could be. Magically locked? No, that doesn't work on magic locks, does it? No, I think it does, doesn't it? It does? Okay. Cool. I know that it mentions magical locks. It might be that it doesn't work on them. Are we are we considering over this week that we've like taken a long rest? I will yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. by cooking a delicious dinner. I think it opens question. 
I think it opens that. magical locks temporarily, and then normal locks. Yes. Opens. If it has, so if it has arcane lock, the spell is suppressed for ten minutes, and mm. uh, otherwise, it opens any object with a mundane or magical means that prevents access. Oh, I don't. So wait, the, I don't think I ever had knock. Why don't I have? Knock? <laughs> 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 you had to pay what you don't have. Session. You do have that. Uh, so just, I, I also want to mention, you have a lot of paperwork that you collected from Eloise, oh, yeah. as well as that stinky yes. book. That's on my agenda. I also have, um, I remembered I, I have never looked at the spear I got from Windsail, um, because I didn't want to, I didn't want to do it like around Windsail, but now that we have these electric batons, I kind of want to spend some time tinkering on that as well. Wait, does that electric baton still work? I try and fire it up. <laughs> uh, you fire it up, and it does still work. Holy oh. shit. I turn it off. Oh. But you can make a tech check on it as well. Okay. Let's see. Untrained. This will be I intelligence. Mean, do, do you need a hand? Yeah. Me and Snowford can look at that, too. Six, baby. All right. Never mind. <laughs> you zap yourself. Wait, with oh, guidance? Wow. It's too heck? late. You already rolled. Yeah. Eight, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know nothing. Can I look at mine? <laughs> I'll help you. I'll help you, Leo. Give it. Take advantage. Thank you. I slap you with some with a snickerdoodle. All right, first one's not great. That's a snuffered roll right there. Beautiful. Oh, second Ooh. one's pretty good though. Nineteen. Oh, did you add a uh, guidance? You, gave you a D four. No, I did not. Yeah, Thank get that you. shit above a twenty. Ah, twenty one. Hey, right, there we it go. It's above a twenty, so I'll give it to you. So, you um. Leo, you're you're pretty well versed in tech in general. You know that there are power sources that are needed for tech. And you get the sense that within this small baton there is a small power source that is uh allowing it for this electron that is allowing it to use this electric energy. And the more you use it, the more that power is going to deplete. Yeah. Okay. Figured as much. Uh, with a 21 as well, I would say that you know that the baton that Renald has, that one probably has, at this point, maybe six more blasts in it. Okay. The one that you have probably has seven. Hmm. Okay. All right, so he uses double A's. Uh... <laughs> what are you talking about? Those are C batteries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we're never going to find more. <laughs> so... Uh, I don't mind that we use them for now, but the next time we get to like a kind of workshop place, uh, I'd like to take one of those apart and look at that. I think maybe we could uh, we could do something to extend the lifespan on those. Oh, definitely. I also have this. Uh, I take out this electric spear. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Wow, that would have been helpful a lot. Yeah, I kind <laughs> of did too. <laughs> I was I was intending to put it on my weapon, but my weapon is uh, momentarily incapacitated, so. Uh, I will attempt to take the box from the electric spear and attach it to the dagger that Artemis gave me. Ooh, I, I okay. Mean, I might have an extra sword if you want, kiddo. Do you have a rapier? Uh, I don't know how swords work. That Only I sticks. don't. <laughs> I do yeah, not. So. Ronaldo has a rapier. Could could I borrow it? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, if you go up to Ronaldo and you ask him... Uh, do you? I I mean I'm just saying it out loud I guess in general just be like yeah I don't understand I don't have I'm not very good with like you know weapons that require a lot of physical strength um although I suppose I could use one now because I am so suddenly strong <laughs> uh yeah Ronaldo would approach you and he would kind of like throw it up catch it by just like the the shaft um and would uh hand it hand it over to you and goes ah I would hope for a back one day, but to be honest, I've lost so many of these things at this point. It uh, <laughs> probably doesn't even matter. He oh, hands well, it over to you. Thank you, thank you, Ronald. That's very kind of you. Um, I will, I will endeavor to give it back to you as soon as my own weapon is in is in good repair. Um, and I'll right. yeah, I'll try and put the electricity box on the rapier instead. So make me a tech check, and I'm picturing all this kind of happening the first night after you make camp, like yeah. all of yeah. this spell prepping and all of the looking over your equipment and all of that. L Leo, could you help me of hold course. these wires down? No Thank problem, Freddy. I'll add a thing for the first night as well, but I'll wait. I mean, you guys want to watch? Maybe you can pick up a couple things. No, no. I'm going to do my own thing. Well, I mean, 
Man, I was going to say, like, we're going to be dealing with tech a lot, but okay. I'm so... Snowford so... doesn't look too happy. To be honest, uh, Snowford, a snickerdoodle for you? Would it make oh, any difference? I would, would love a snickerdoodle if I you I frisbee mind. it into your mouth. Oh, that was impeccable aim. Oh, my God. Okay, that actually makes it somewhat yeah. reasonable. Um, I got I got a four on the, the guidance, so that's a 15 total. I rolled a two and a four with advantage. Oy vey. Oof. So it is not your best work, Snowfred. <laughs> Rub it in. <laughs> I will say that you managed you managed to attach it, but the number of charges left on it is going to go down a little bit. Okay, that's fair. Um, I will say you you kind of have an idea of how much it is because I don't want to keep track of it, so I'm going to make you keep track of it. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. Um, you probably have a good ten charges left on this one. And this does okay, an great. extra just one d six, and it yeah. is it's not non lethal like the others. Yeah. Okay. Um, I am tinkering this. We're working together. Kind of piled over, and then once it's done, I'll like hold it up and like, bzz, bzz, and it it zaps and like hits a hits a fly. All right, you're down <laughs> to nine charges. Oh, ah! no! And I uh, I give it to I, I give Artemis back her dagger. Oh, thank you. Thank you for loaning me this. Um, it was very difficult to. Uh, you know, wouldn't have gotten through all of that without it. So thank you. Of course. All right. What should I name my new weapon? Hmm. The Zapier. There we go. Oh. Got it. <laughs> Got it in one. That's good. I do like that. Yeah. That, anyway, well, I'm going to go to bed now. It's pretty <laughs> late. Good night. Yeah. Uh, I want to I I do something that most wizards do at first level. Yeah. Oh, how embarrassing. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to cast Find Familiar. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> what about Atrix? But, but why? <laughs> yeah, I mean, if I want to cast Find Annoying Book. <laughs> oh. oh! Oh my god, that hurt me. Oh! Uh, <laughs> what? What? Bart I'll cast light uh, inside did you my hit, backpack. Did you hit puberty suddenly while you flew around on that bridge? Yeah, we talked about this. I, 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 I oh turned my <laughs> This God. has been established. That's how we play. Come on. I, ca I can't even cry. Otherwise, I'll whip my pages. Nah, you don't even oh. cry. Stop it. Stop it. That's how we joke. <laughs> it's not. We have never once joked like this, Barnabas. <laughs> 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 You've changed. Adventure has made you hard. Episode one, pal. Come on. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> And Jesus, never since there? in all 30, uh, what, 39 episodes. <laughs> and, uh, and just because like I'm going to create a, a new <laughs> new companion that will tag along in all my adventures doesn't mean I love you less. <gasps> I love he you said too, it. And that's hard Aww. for a teenager to say. You know, I feel like the cast has already bloated enough. <laughs> uh, what, what, I think, what are you summoning for your familiar? I think an owl is kind of fitting for Barnabas. Hell Ooh. yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, but it's so cliche. What does this look like? Uh, it is a uh, it is a barn owl. Oh, no, get a screech owl. One of those little little red dudes. I mean, a, they a sound barn like owl. a horse. They're so cute. I mean, I'm not going for cute. I'm going for barn owl. What? <laughs> it's like Barnabas barn owl? Like a Barnabas owl? A Barnabas owl? Yeah, this one even screams like Barnabas. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a beautiful and noble creature you have! Oh my have. god, it shows up with a little hat and glasses. That's, that's how Barnell sound. It is. Oh, oh, it's so good. All right, you kind of wave your wave your arms around, casting the somatic components, maybe drawing a couple circles, casting it as a ritual, and you summon this barn owl and as you look at it you do it it doesn't feel like just the normal connection of caster to summoned creature you feel a third connection there because magic also takes the form of an owl Ooh, oh yeah I forgot about that i knew that Was that's that... why i chose that that's right okay <laughs> that's what i thought about you yeah yeah totally i'm super yeah. smart i remember things i take notes <laughs> absolutely <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you summon your owl familiar does that mean i have to name it something like magic i mean 
You can name it whatever you want. I'm not it would be you. like Does naming your dog already? God. <laughs> Come along now, God. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> sit. Oh, yes, has anybody seen my? Has anybody seen my parrot, Jesus Christ? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but a cat named oh Moses God. would be pretty funny. Why? Why? That's, why that's a cat okay. named have Moses? You seen my, have you seen my cow, the Buddha? I don't know. <laughs> the Buddha. The Buddha. The Buddha. That's good. That's good. Proper nomenclature. I was yeah. I was just gonna call them Barnabal. Uh, Barnabal. <laughs> there it is. I like that too. Bowel for short. I don't know. Should we should we name this something magic esque? I think I mean, Barnabal is pretty magical. That's pretty how about magic. Tiffany? That's pretty magical. Yeah, Tiffany. That's a very medieval yeah. name. Yeah. <laughs> Spellowicious. I once knew a, a pig named Tiffany. Was a long yeah. time ago. Anyway. Anywho, Barnabal it is. <laughs> Spellicious right. Barnabal. <laughs> Spellicious? Does anyone have anything else they want to do this first night? Um, I mean, they, have we opened the jar yet, or we say we no. left tomorrow? No, no that's we, we need to prepare okay. some spells for that. Got you, got you. Okay. Uh, nah, I don't think I got anything. Nope, all good. Cool. All right, the next day, the sun rises up. And you have all of your spells prepared that you might want to cast. Um, are we waiting until we get to the next time you are taking your or setting up camp for the night, or are we gonna do it right first thing in the morning? Probably first thing in the morning. I'd say first thing in the morning. Yeah. Why that not? Way we get a proper. Cool. Let me know what spells, what buffs, everything that you're doing to prepare to open this jar. It's gonna puff out and be like, "All right, you take." One d six damage, and that's it. <laughs> uh, who is who is opening it for sure? Snurford has no problem opening it. This is the pursuit of scientific exploration. All right, I will then. I'm going to do resistance on Snurford. Thank you. Well, first thing, can I? I want to cast detect poison a disease. Yep, good. To see if it is a poison that will come out of there. Does seem like a poison. I mean, is that a cancer? I mean, it's a first level spell. I, I would, well, I just, I, it kind of doesn't matter. I already gave you the information. Yeah, you cast a spell. I, yeah, well. Well, we're, we're I want to be sure. We're not doing sure. anything it's else okay. today. It's okay. Yeah, I know. You never we, know. We, we just already knew it was trapped. We didn't know what kind of trap, yeah. though. Because yeah, now I mean, that I could, know. I mean, it could have not been a poison. It could. Now that I know it's poison, I'm going to cast protection from poison on Snowford. Thank you. It's trapped with confetti. <laughs> I go up to uh, Snowford and I, I hand them a uh, a breakfast sandwich. Uh, and I'm like, I'm all out of snickerdoodles. And I walk away. <laughs> you oh, have thank guidance. You. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, tom, tom, tom. Are, we, are we all cool with um, making with a little hole dying in the ground? a little bit? Uh, no. Yeah, good. The hole is good. The hole, oh, yeah. Okay. I hole. yeah, I think for the hole is good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then <laughs> for my last trick, I'm going to cast Mold Earth to make a little hole in the ground to prevent any escapees from There's a toad happening. on a log and a hole in the bottom of the sea. <laughs> Renault immediately accidentally falls into the hole and then scrambles out and away. <laughs> Stay there. No. Uh, okay. He was just going to put his good scarf flavor. up above his nose and mouth. So Snowford has guidance, protection from poison, and is in a hole with a jar. Yes. <laughs> and and resistance. <laughs> and resistance. <laughs> Um, okay. And I just, just because I can, I'm going to, oh no, we, we left Eloise tied up with my rope. Does anyone have 25 feet of rope? No, but I have like 500 feet of wire. I have 50 foot of rope and not the climbing can I, rope. Can I use the wire instead of rope for a spell component, Casey? The wire instead of rope for a spell casting component. I mean, what is wire but yes. metal rope? You okay? You keep track of spell components? When they need to be consumed or they cost money, yeah, you're supposed to. <laughs> I thought I could just cast Resurrection for free. I what? just um, hand wave uh, it like my somatic components. Uh, the the spell consumes 25 feet of rope, so it's important that we have that. Um, yeah, I uh, also in this case, the spell uses the rope to make a snare, so we kind of can't do that if we don't have any <laughs> at all. Uh, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a rope a snare out of the rope of my mind. Uh, we're gonna so I'm gonna cast snare. Okay. Which I can prepare as a first level artificer now. And uh, basically just put it kind of in the hole underneath where I am put doing the frog. Or I guess at the entrance to the hole if we have a if we can make like a one choke point in case the frog escapes and then it will be snared, hopefully. Okay. Um 
Additionally, I'm going to, um, just because I keep forgetting to do this and I need to remember the Cosmic Omen um, to see if I have a wheel or a woe. Also smart. Sure. Okay. It's an even, so um, that's a positive. A wheel. Right. You, so I can give to somebody a uh, roll of d6 and add the number to the total for attack roll, saving roll, and ability check. A cute little right. bardic inspiration. So we, I think we have we have guidance, resistance, uh, snare, poison resistance, and uh, that's it. Oh, and do you want the whole... bardic inspiration as well? Sure. I I really do think we're <laughs> over preparing, but why not? Right. Okay. I mean, at this point, you might. I'm as well loving the, the over preparing. It ma- listen. The thing is, it probably won't matter. But if it does matter, then it's going to be good that we have all this because this is kind of important. Exactly. Right? Mm-hmm. All right, D6 over to you. Again, like this ghostly figure, like uh, there's like a camera scene of just like them like whispering something to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rad. Oh, okay, turn left to open jar. Thank you. We just got to <laughs> open this jar because I am so ready for Casey to just be like, one IWTP. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to be out of the... <laughs> yeah, okay, we're prepped. I take a breath, I open the jar. Flashback. Grab the jar in one hand, grab the lid in the other, slowly start <laughs> turning the lid. <laughs> Don't you hear? Do you can hear the friction just sort of Stop. like grinding the metal against the glass. It's like a mission. Don't you do it. do it. Don't you do it. You Open it do up. It. And then you pop open the lid, and this cloud of brown spores just Ew. flies out of it into your face, and I need you to make me a constitution saving throw. Okay, so I have a d4 and a d6 I can spend. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. All right. Uh, that's okay. It's a good start. Um, I'm going to do the resistance. Uh, that's a, that's an 18, and you know what? I'm just a little bit scared, so I'm going to spend the inspiration. Woo! Uh, that is a 24. Whoa! Okay. Nice. Oh, yeah. How deep is this hole that you made? Five feet. Oh, no. <laughs> It okay. just goes up to Snowbird's knees. <laughs> Who's standing around the hole? The uh, intention was to make an enclosed space, right? Well, yeah, it's yeah. We buried. We've made like in? a little, a little foxhole. That's what I thought too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there is an entrance. Who's standing at the entrance? Not I, said Ronald Duque. Barnabas, because I, uh, I guess so. Me, why not? Why not? I got my scarf over my mouth. I'm fine. I went through the desert with that. I survived sandstorms. What's a little bit of spore? Like, I guess we're all kind of looking in. All right. Everyone who is standing at the entrance also make me a con save. Yeah. Okay. Right. As the spores yeah. just kind of uh-huh. catch the wind that is going into this enclosed space and swooping back out. I'll make the con save. Yeah, I'm Do fine. I'm doing Do okay. It. Do it. Um, sure. <laughs> Question though. Yes. Would this count as a magical effect? No. <laughs> okay. It's natural spores. Okay. Oh no, boy. I just want to make sure because ma- uh, you know my my race. Uh, Seventeen for my save. Seventeen. Can, uh, can I right. also check and, that it's uh, a plant uh, for my race? Human. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is a plant. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I guess because I'd be looking you in on it. I got a twelve. A twelve from Artemis. Yeah. You got. Me. Yeah, mesothelioma. You got a seven. And a seven from Barnabas. Okay. Barnabas and Artemis. Hmm. Mm. You're standing by the entrance looking in to see what happens as these spores just kind of float out of this enclosure that you've made. <clears throat> and they get into your nose. They tickle your nostrils a little bit. And then your heart just starts going boom, 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 boom. Ah! And you just feel a sudden urge. To sing. Deo! <laughs> Extend. Are you saying Deo? Deo! Misa de, misa de, misa de, misa de, misa de. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> what? As the toad slowly starts twisting up out of the jar and what? starts singing along with you. And what? that is uh-huh. where we are going to end the session. Excuse me! Is the mask now? What are you are they, doing? Are they 
Are they it was like, all Beetlejuice all along. Of, this is Beetlejuice. This, episode, this, is this is Beetlejuice episode, at the mask. This episode started with Hesk meeting chaos and ended yep. with a frog <laughs> the, singing. The bananas. This, this, this is Jesters. better because at least I thought Casey was going to oh do the God. cliffhanger when when I opened the jar. I yeah. thought so And I was going to be mad about that. Like you open the jar, and that's where Julianne was gonna <laughs> scream. I was close. Oh I was close God. to doing that. See, it's funny because Barnabas and Artemis are only imagining this. They're both on the floor convulsing right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now that would be yeah. Oh, that would be rough. All right. Well, thank you for listening, everybody. Does anyone here have anything they would like to plug? That jar. You can come and find me on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Majora's Rose. Love it. Thanks. <laughs> you can check out Clickety Clackety RTA on Twitch as well. Um, we stream Wild Beyond the Witch Light every other Wednesday. They also stream a bunch of other stuff throughout the week. But that's the only one I'm currently a part of. Emphasis on the currently. Um, yeah. Uh, but you can also check out Ava and Eli, the number four ever on GoFundMe as well. It's a project that Also a plus I... sign, right? Yes, it is a plus sign as well. But I think you can find it with typing plus. But it is Ava, the plus sign, Eli, the number four ever on GoFundMe. Uh, it is a pilot that I am currently working to get off the ground. So if you could share that link or donate, that would be amazing and super helpful. Check out T-I-N-T-E-N-S-E-H-E-R dot itch dot I-O. Uh, look at my new game, Creeps and Masks. It is a Ooh. short, uh, eight-page, forged-in-the-dark game. Um, kind of a, a lighter, goofier tone than normal because you are playing as characters inspired by the Scooby-Doo crew. Um, so you can take on such delightful playbooks as the ascot, the glasses, <laughs> the heels, the scruff, and the collar as you solve mysteries and unmask ghosts and uh, eat spooky snacks. Um, check it out. It's uh, it's only a dollar, and uh, there are community copies that you can claim for free. And I'd love to know what you think. Thank you very much. Oh, that's so cute. So when the frog is twisting out of the jar, is it like like a dancer? How a dancer would kind of like twist out of a jar? Uh, is Snowfreed getting uh, like a sensual dance to the banana way. boat song? Is that what's are, happening? It, it definitely are dancers doesn't start to twist that out way. Of it jars? starts because it was jammed into the jar oh, and kind of okay. got twisted as it went in. But then as it makes its way up, then yes. It sees where it's going and it is like, oh, I can kind of do something with this. I could. Exa yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh. The banana boat song. <laughs> 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 is that. Is that uh? Can we use that? Is it is it a free license? Right. Is it public I domain? Know. I don't know. I mean, you know, we could probably that look that up online. Speaking of online, go ahead and rate, like, share this podcast any way you can using that same search engine you are to see if we can get the rights to the banana boat song. It's and public hey. domain. We're <gasps> a okay. Yeah. yeah. You know. I guess so you don't cool. have to use Google or the computer anymore, so I guess don't leave a review. Turn off your phone. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> the banana oh, you know, boat song is public domain. Turn I'll off your take phone. Your, <laughs> take off your headphones and just let us hang out in your pocket for a bit. Yeah. No, it's yeah. nice in here. It's like, Put, us, it's put cool. us in the shoes or in the pages or the covers of Atrix. Just hanging out in a pocket all day, you know, yeah. buy some jingling keys, maybe a little, a little, little bit of lint. gum. There might be Don't nothing else in, in the pocket. Long. Maybe maybe these are women's pants and it's you know, we're halfway sticking no out. Pockets. You know? Or but no uh, pockets. but our but our little yeah, heads. We're just are peeking still out, say hello, like a little dog at yeah, first. Exactly. We're peeking out, we're seeing a little yeah, bit of the world, but you know, if oh, we're shy, wow, we'll tuck that back in. A, that's a really pretty squirrel. Did you guys see that? Ooh. Did you guys see the squirrel that just ran past? Oh, I just hey, did you see it? It's a seagull this far inland. Oh, wow. wow. You know what That's I impressive. just saw? You know what I what? just saw? Hmm? What? Oh, 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 oh,